The Stanford 1000 Immune Gnome Project. Right? So, when was that started, and how, how long has it been going? And is it, is it still running? Yeah. So the Stanford 1000 Immune Gnome started in 2007 with um, 30 individuals that were recruited for this pilot study, where we were testing the the model of having this center facility with many uh, technologies. And that really, we discovered a fundamental pathway for aging um, that was then validated in larger cohorts. Um, So that got a lot of traction from NIH to a point that we um, we got about 30, $35 million uh, funding to run this 10 year study. Um, the NIA and NIID from NIH have been very, very generous to continue to support our efforts with uh, more funding to continue the study for the next five years. Um, so we're gonna be recruiting, we're gonna be pe- you know, calling people to, call, to, to come back to the, to the to the um, to the clinic at Stanford, and we will be able to luckily continue this study um, for the next five years. Okay, so it's 2007 to so that's 17. That, that's right. a long time, right? I mean, <laughs> for for the total. Okay, so are you recruiting any new people, or it, it, you'd just be using the existing cohort? We're going to be um, having different cohorts, but we have identified. Um, uh, the, 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 there are all existing cohorts. Let's put all it existing way. cohorts. Okay. And what will you be looking for in the future? I mean, will you continue to look at the Im- immunology and inflammation or uh, what kind of new tests will you be doing? So we're really analyzing um, the metabolic status by looking at metabolomics using roughly 2,000 metabolites from um, plasma and serum. And we're also gonna be looking at other cardiovascular uh, endpoints. And uh, we will be able to follow people for now over the 15 years. So we're Mm -hmm. gonna have a good idea about the uh, kinetics of immune aging, Mm -hmm. uh, measuring pretty much uh, everything plus some other new things uh, that we measured before, including gene expression, cellular phenotype responses in vitro, ex vivo. Um, and now instead of doing 50 or 60 uh, um, immunological proteins from blood, we're able to look at 1500, 2000. So the technologies that are, are, are moving fast. Right. So you co-founded a company, so Edifice Health, uh, I think it was called something else, originally, but it's now called Edifice Health. So uh, it, can you introduce the company? Um, yeah. Sure. So, so Edifice is a, um, a company that we started with Professor McDavis in uh, a couple of years ago after um, a lot of research of the 1000 Immunomes project and having discovered that this new test is a good proxy uh, for multimorbidity we thought this is really too good to keep it in academia. We have to bring it to the masses. Um, So we founded the company with the mission of um, eliminating chronic disease really. And so the the, uh, company has been funded now with a series A funding uh, recently. And we commercialized both a test for systemic chronic inflammation called IH. Uh, and we also give, uh, produce, develop interventions to lower it. Right. So I saw, yes, that you, you have uh, an assay, I age. So can you talk about how does the test work? And it, it's, it's in pre, pre-release right now, is it? I mean, when do you expect it to be available? Yes, uh, we're taking pre-orders at the moment. Um, we're going to launch sometime between Q2, Q3 of next year. That's the expectation mm. um, of 2022. Um, and as I speak, we're recruiting uh, individuals for a large thousand uh, people study, IRB approved, where we're testing all these different interventions. We have already a big success in a double-blinded placebo control study. Um, where we treated a number of patients with our formulation and the other ones with placebo and were able to decrease inflammatory age significantly and after two or three weeks 
uh, of taking the supplement. Right. Okay. Would like to come back to the supplement in a second, but uh, a little bit more on the clock. So what will the test be like? It's like a blood draw and is it something right. you can do at home and send it in? Would that be exactly. the idea? So, so the way this works is um, the uh, individual order test um, online or on their app. Uh, there's a kit that arrives to their house. They can have this, uh, the blood extraction at home mm -hmm. and they send it over to the labs. We estimate their inflammatory age and their immunotypes. Um, we also give them their systemic chronic inflammation index, which puts in an individual uh, compared to others uh, the same age. Mm. Obviously, it's not the same to have an inflammatory age of 50 and be 80 in the chronological age uh, or be 20 in chronological age. So you have to compare apples to apples. Um, so that's the systemic chronic inflammation index. And it works with a, a serum um, uh, 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 a matrix. We're testing at the moment different modalities for blood extraction, but um, it, now at the moment, the test is available um, in a RUO, uh, research use only, a facility we're now getting a CLIA certification and as soon as we're we're ready uh, to launch we will we will um, and again this gives you the inflammatory age which you can compare to your calendar age the systemic chronic inflammation index that puts every individual in um, in comparison uh, to to others uh, the same age and the immunotypes so you could belong to an immunotype um, 1A, I could be immunotype 1B, and we have the same inflammatory age. And why is that? Because there's different clusters of individuals walking around with different devi deviations of, of proteins. So you could have maybe protein A being upregulated, and I could have protein B being upregulated, and we will need different interventions. Okay. I hadn't heard of this before. So the your immunotype uh, is like how how you react to, I guess, insults or yeah. I, I would uh, say there are there are two major contributors, right? Mm -hmm. Your um, genes that are you know genetic susceptibility uh, and and longevity genes that are protective. Um, so the bad and the good guys, um, mm -hmm. and then you have the environment, uh, the exposome. And how you react to the exposome will be decoded by this inflammatory age immunotype. How, roughly how many immunotypes are there? I mean, it's like hundreds there's about of ten. ten. There's ten. about 10 immunotypes at the moment. Uh, as we're growing in our database, I think we're, we're definitely going to discover more, um, especially when we introduce um, new ethnicities. Mm -hmm. um, there's uh, large efforts now to recruit African Americans in a collaboration with UNC. Uh, we're working with uh, a company in Japan to derive the inflammatory age and the different immunotypes of the Japanese population. We also have 1,200 Latinos that are being monitored at the moment. Um, and so as we're growing our database, we will definitely, uh, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll be uh, discovering new immunotypes. Interesting. So is the, will the test when it's commercially available be available worldwide? Do you see that or is it? Yes. yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. We have currently uh, partners in Malaysia, in Japan, in Spain, in uh, Argentina, um, and other parts of Europe as well, in, in Europe. 